my pleasure to introduce our first speaker today, Faye Joes, is director of the City of Toronto's Children's Services Division. In this capacity, she is responsible for the planning and management of child care services for a geographic center uh, sector of the city. Faye has over 25 years of experience in the children's services sector and is a registered early childhood educator. Faye was recently introduced to the field of recreation as the manager of children and youth with the Parks, Forestry and Recreation Division. She was involved in the development of the Middle Childhood Strategy, which was created through the collaborative efforts of community organizations and both city divisions of Children's Services and Parks, Forestry and Recreation. And she's going to speak to us today about the strategy. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. So as you know, strategy can be a little bit dry, so I'll do my best to, uh, to keep it moving and keep it as lively as possible, which is going to be easy to do given that there's colored chickens in front of you. So uh, I'm very aware of the audience here, and I know that uh, you're quite aware of how large Toronto is. So just to put some parameters around this strategy uh, for middle childhood, I, I want to start off with a couple of things. First of all, we're defining middle childhood as children ages 6 to 12. And with what I know is happening in the province of Ontario with after school, after school is fast, including four and five-year-olds too. But for the purposes of this strategy, uh, we have mainly focused on the, the 6 to 12 year old. The other thing that I wanted to really identify as I'm talking is what that scope means for Toronto, especially given that some of you are here from municipalities um, that are smaller than Toronto. And I want you to think just for a minute about the fact that there are 329,000 children in the city of Toronto. <laughs> And of that 329,000, 179,000 of them are between the ages of 6 to 12. So with, with who I know is likely our audience, having been to uh, a pro conference in the past, pro forum in the past, I know that, for some of you, the number of 6 to 12-year-olds that we have in Toronto are equal to or greater than some of the municipalities that you live in. So that takes us to why the strategy, what the strategy, and what it is that we're trying to do, and who is it that's trying to do it. We've known in Toronto for a long time that the needs of 6 to 12-year-olds were not um, adequately being met. And uh, when you think about licensed child care, when you think about recreation, when you think about uh, the needs of parents and families for children from that age group, the, the needs for those families are great and that that's a particular age group where developmentally children are still needing care but they are, their care and their development is quite unique. They, it's a, we know that it's a critical time of development and it's when you think about high five and you put high five together with the six to 12 year old, you know how important it is for them to be working with adults that are caring and that the social aspect of six to 12 year olds working with each other is, is the real focus of, of what they're doing and how they're doing it. So I want to talk a little bit about how we're looking at tackling that in Toronto. Um, and want to also talk about families' expectations related to it because you can't put a strategy together without finding out what it is that families are really looking for. So we, what we did was we looked at some research and we found out that families have an expectation that they, for high-quality, age-appropriate programs, both in school and out-of-school time, no surprise. But it's hard for providers and hard for families to make those uh, things link, to, to put them together. Uh, because in Toronto, we don't have access to, there isn't a wide range of a high quality developmentally and culturally appropriate services that support the communities where the children are. So there is a number of uh, stakeholders and agencies, boards and commissions and divisions in the city that got together along with our community partners to look at what the needs were and to look at uh, what could happen around that and identifying that it wasn't just licensed childcare and it wasn't just recreation uh, programs within the city's recreation division. 
And so in 2009, a coalition of all of uh, those folks uh, developed the Middle Childhood Strategy Framework. And what we did was we committed to developing with the community a comprehensive childhood strategy that provided action steps towards a system of high quality, age appropriate, out of school time programs for children in six to 12. And we took it to Toronto City Council and we said, what do you think? And from that, we had three key components that we went to as the next step. The first one was some research to be able to say, yes, definitively, we are headed in the right direction. Families agree, community partners agree, and the research in terms of the, the, um, the scope of what was being done nationally and what was being done in, in to other countries, and we actually included Ireland in, because there's a fair bit of work that's being done in Ireland around this, it all pointed that we were on the right track. Then we developed the strategy, and then following that, we said, okay, hit the strategies here. Now we need to do an implementation plan. So that happened in May of 2013. But I want to back it up a little bit to the research in 2011. The um, research that we did, um, and I've got a couple of copies here. I didn't bring one for everybody, um, but I do have a few copies here, and I can talk to you about it afterwards. We, the research was titled An Opportunity for Every Child, Realizing the Potential of After-School Programming for Children Ages 6 to 12. And we looked at best practices and the needs of Toronto families and also the barriers that they face. This document's also online, so um, obviously not enough hard copies for everybody, but it is available online and uh, our website will give you at the end. So we looked at a needs assessment. We did an environmental scan in Toronto of all of the after-school programs that were available, all of them, not just what Toronto, the city offered, not just what uh, Children's Services and Parks, Forestry and Recreation offered, but what does Boys and Girls offer? What are faith groups offering? What is there out there for families? We did eight focus groups with a total of 83 parents uh, who had children between the ages of 6 to 12, and we focused really in with a deep dive on what is it that you want, what are you looking for, and what are your barriers. We had uh, just over 1,300 surveys that were done online, which is uh, quite an incredible number uh, when you think about the challenges in a very diverse city with literacy and language issues and, and folks' time to be able to identify for us what is it that... Um, they were looking for and the why and the how. We also did one-on-one -on -one interviews with 24 different researchers uh, to be able to inform where we were headed with the strategy too. Uh, then we did a statistical review of uh, the data and analysis of it and rolled it all up into this document which then informed um, the strategy. So the strategy's uh, main goal was to look at um, building on the research, uh, where, where do we start? Uh, it's to, in, to ensure that children 6 to 12, along with their families, have access to that high quality. Absolutely, parents, families, researchers, stakeholders said quality is a very key factor. Um, developmentally and culturally appropriate. Culturally appropriate came out again and again and again, as well as that button of we want homework time. So uh, there, was, there was also some other pieces in there are, that families were looking for that we needed to consider too, and really language around how do we define quality and how do we want to move forward with this and, and in what sorts of packages. So the strategy set out the following goals. One, to develop a comprehensive and integrated um, system for of services for children 6 to 12. What we know is that in Toronto, the programs are fragmented. So families were putting together pro uh, after-school care for their children that was one day here, one day there, part of the time here, oh, not for a PA day program there. Um, this run program runs for nine weeks, that one runs for 12 weeks. There was a lot of... Um, disjointedness and we were looking to find a way to collaborate so that families had an easier time to be able to sort out where is the care, what is it, and how do I know what I'm getting by the nature of what it's called uh, by different uh, groups that were offering the care. So we were really looking at aligning it. We were looking at also service planning. 
where should these programs be and where are they not? So around the city, looking at a map, where are the service gaps? Uh, so we addressed that by developing some new planning tools uh, to address the gaps and looked at that with all of the service planners in the city. The, and then we looked at that from a local planning lens. What do we need um, in each of the areas? And we, we have started to do some of that work. It's been successful, and we, I'll get into that in a few minutes. We know that people are actively using, that families are actively using that as part of their planning. We also wanted and heard, again, like I said about quality, to develop some strategies to measure and improve the quality of all programs. High quality, as you know, is a real cornerstone for uh, after-school programs. It's something that we all strive for, but we have to be able to define what it looks like, and we want to be able to define what it looks like uh, cohesively from program to program so that parents are able to uh, language and identify and realize and recognize uh, what quality looks like. We, we also wanted it to inform staff hiring. Staff hiring, we heard over and over again, and this is not rocket science for any of you in the room who either are looking for after-school care for a child of your own or a family member that you have been working with for six to 12-year-olds, it, it, it's challenging to find. Uh, we needed to know also what the specific elements of quality were, and we're not, we're not quite there yet. This is work that is ongoing, but the strategy identified all of those things. So uh, developing a comprehensive system, improving service planning and coordination, and looking at what quality was. The other, the other thing that it identified was how do we raise public awareness about the fact that there are 179,000 children aged 6 to 12 that need care after school, and in what form do they need it in. Then we wanted to create also opportunities for more research and knowledge of what the best practices are. So how do we, when we discover this, how do we language out what the best practices are? We implemented the plan in 2013. So we're in the beginning of 2014. You realize that we are still actively working on this. We, we took our implementation plan, uh, which was another document, um, to city council. And the we is anybody who offers care uh, for 6 to 12-year-olds in the city of Toronto. And we said to council, this is what we want to do. And uh, these are our goals and our actions. Uh, up to the end of 2014. And we're actively working on that implementation plan. And that work is being carried out by uh, uh, focused groups, but also, and it's the investment of anybody that has care for six to 12 year olds. The other thing that we did was we developed a child and family network in the city that is cross-divisional, and it in, in the main work of that is that the... the Thank you. The, the uh, middle childhood strategy on the work plans has been taken on by everybody on that uh, child and family network. So moving forward, um, some of the key things that have already happened out of this is that in order to be able to identify where the service gaps were, we developed a locator. So on our website, you are able to, as a parent, put in an address by postal code and every care option for six to 12 year olds will pop up for you in that area. Not just the ones operated by the city of Toronto, but anybody that has, has care or a program, recreation based or not, for six to 12 year olds, will, it will show you where it is. We also are in the process of developing those quality standards and we have buy-in from uh, a very wide diverse group to develop the quality standards. It will look like a criteria. There will be a parent education component that comes with it. Uh, the other thing that has happened is that the, some of the other divisions in the city uh, uh, that are seeing 6 to 12-year-olds, so for example, our libraries that end up being care options for families because they send their children to a library at the end of the school day, the library has recognized also that they need a strategy for middle childhood and they have um, done some implementation plans of their own along with working with us so that it's very much a focus. So where do we go from here? Our next steps are to keep focused on the implementation plan. 
We're going to keep providing leadership towards defining what high quality is. And we're going to make sure that we action our partnerships uh, so that everybody that's offering care is headed towards the same goal. And like I said, just to close off, all of that work is available on our um, website. All of the three documents that I've identified, including the one that's in front of you, which is on each of the tables, there's a hard copy of the strategy itself. Um, so the strategy itself, the research, and the implementation guide, a time for action, is all available at uh, toronto.ca forward slash children. Hi, Faye. I have a question. You mentioned that four- and five-year-olds, um, that you're seeing an increase in four- and five-year-olds participating in recreation programs. I'm just wondering, the Recreation Act reads six and up. I'm just wondering how you're going about that through the City of Toronto when you're coming from the licensing piece, um, having four- and five-year-olds in um, licensed child care programs. Are you allowing them to participate in your ARC programs? So in the ARC, ARC program, that's an acronym that stands for um, After School Recreation Program, uh, the increase of the four and five-year-olds is in the fact that the parents are looking for before and after school care. Mm -hmm. So it, within the City of Toronto, what we have identified is that where there is a group of 15 children who require care by a family survey, then legislatively, the uh, boards of education are required to either operate or find an operator for licensed before and after scare, school care for those children. In the, on the recreation side, in the ARC programs, we have had a very small number of four and five year olds uh, that can come into our ARC programs, but under some very strict conditions. And it needs to uh, be monitored it needs to make sure that they generally are there because there are sibling, they have a sibling that is six to 12. Uh, and we're really looking at a uh, time period in the beginning of when they come as to whether you can manage a four-year-old in the same program as a 12-year-old and generally not. So we're looking for that ARC program to have the ability by room size to be able to divide. <laughs>